basically, if a woman, it, a woman shouldn't follow a man who's not a king. So basically what she was trying to say is, I can't follow no man who ain't got his shit together. Then he's not a king. You shouldn't be following him anyway. You supposed to follow the nigga. All these women talking about though. That's you supposed to follow the man who got his shit together mentally. Mentally. Get on here, be talking like they messing with niggas that's not like that. Like it's crazy. That's why all I'm looking from that point of view. They not messing with they, because they messing with the man. But the man they messing with is not the, a king because they messing with him for the wrong reason. That's why. That's why he not get. You can't expect a king from a slave. <laughs> you know what? He still got the slave mind. Fuck, is he mm. gonna be a king, bro? It's mm. not. It don't work like that. He still got the slave mind, my nigga. So he, he it's not meant for him to, to for that shit to work, bro. It's not meant for him to. It, it's no way a slave can act like a king, bro. That's what you asking. That's what you asking of of them. It's no way, my nigga. Hey, Mo Better, Mo Better 3, I'm going to follow you, my G, when I get off live. Shalom, King. That's real, though. For real. Yeah, bro, now, nah, my nigga, that she, they fucking with them niggas for the wrong reasons. That's why they getting the results they getting, my G. <laughs> you feel me? Like, for a prime example, man, I look at a lot of these rap dudes, and they go get their IG models and shit like that. This is how I look at shit like that. My nigga, when, if you, you're a rapper, you claim you're a street nigga, right? So that means that you took penitentiary chances to get in where you at in life. Mm -hmm. If you claim you're, you rapping about being a street nigga, right? That means you took penitentiary, if you a real street nigga like you rapping, that means you put, took penitentiary chances to get where you had to get, my nigga. Mm -hmm. That's what that means. None of them Instagram model hoes, they pay for a studio time, they ain't give you a dollar on none of that shit, bro. So why yeah. when you get the bag, you want to go fuck with somebody that don't, that that, that wasn't there when you was dying? But yeah. They wasn't there when you was dying. They ain't, pay, they ain't spend a quarter on studio time, my nigga. That's right. I don't, be, I don't take, be understanding bro. that either, dog. All the Instagram model hoes, they come to take, bro. They don't come, that's why that's why they asking for twenty five thousand when you get a hundred. They ain't appreciative above the five. That's why they ain't appreciative above the five, my nigga, because they come to take. They don't come to add to shit. They don't come to. They don't come to hold your dime. They supposed to hold the king up. They come to take. They don't come to add. That's why they. That's why they complaining about the five grand. It's like I hit a hundred league, I gave you five. You better be happy with that before I take my shit back. Now let me give you an example of a story that I, that just happened to me just like that not that long ago. Okay. I was at the gas station going to go guards, my nigga. These two Hispanic chicks, which are my which are my sisters in Christ, asked me, say they walked up to me and say, Hey, uh, I we ran out of gas. I had ten, I had Seen the 10 and the 5. She says, we was two of them. One of them come up to me and say, hey, brother, can you give me $5? We ran out of gas. I had a 10 and a 5. I give her the $5 bill. I walk out. So now I only got a 10 in my hand. I walk out to go get my cigars and shit. The other girl come up to me and say, hey, excuse me, we hungry too. Can you give me, we hungry too. Can you give me another 5? Damn. Hold on. I told her, I say, okay, give me the 5 back I gave you. And I'm going to give you the 10. She gave me the five back. I keep my whole 15 and walk out and say, bitch, you can't be choosing. You, now you ain't got nothing. <laughs> now you ain't got nothing, my nigga. That's what that means about the 5,000, my nigga. You unappreciative of the 5,000, not to hit 100,000 leagues. Bitch, I'm going to take my money real back. Real real. Real I'm going to take my money back, bro. She was so greedy. She comes, these hoes come to take, bro. She was so greedy. She was going to take my 10, my nigga. And leave me with five. That's what these hoes come to do. So they not appreciated the five thousand, bitch. I would, when I see that, you wouldn't get you wouldn't get shit from me. Not five dollars. I'm not giving you a uh, hundred thousand. I ain't giving you five dollars because it's not appreciated. And why would I give you twenty bands when I know you ain't gonna do nothing but go blow it? You ain't gonna build shit with it. So why Thank the fuck you. I'm gonna give you that? Damn. Real nigga. Fuck, shit. I'm gonna do that.
You're not gonna build shit Damn. with it. You're gonna trick it off and blow it. You got Damn. me fucked up, my nigga. Damn. I'm built different, my nigga. I was built from God himself. Fuck out of here. Not no simple ass nigga. No. Nah. Ain't no simple ass nigga. Real nigga. Bitch, you look, I gave you the five. I got a mama, <laughs> a, 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 a daughter. Two why you sons, put, and I gave you five thousand dollars. Why you put the ties to my hundred thousand? We ain't work for this together. We ain't come up with this shit together. Exactly. If I hit for a hundred thousand, why the fuck I owe you anything? If I first of all, some... look at Jay Z. He don't mess with no bum bitch. He <laughs> wouldn't even. He wouldn't fuck with Ari, bro. He wouldn't fuck with none of them Instagram model hoes, bro. They ain't on his level. He would not fuck with them. Only niggas that's on their level fuck with them. Real that's... shit. That man got the blueprint right there, man. Real nigga shit. Y'all follow me on Instagram if y'all want the truth. Fan Mail TV News, my nigga. I give it to you. And make sure y'all <laughs> tap in with my boy Malik, because he got the live is live going on right now. Yeah, yeah. Man of business, man. <laughs> that's, that's a drop for my nigga. You feel me? Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Oh, man. Crazy. That shit crazy as hell. I just want to understand how you want to tell me. Maestro, tell him about the dash. You told me yesterday, the dash. That was hard. Oh. I had to text that to a couple of people. Okay, so check this out. In life, right, when you born, when you look on the tombstone, hold on, let me get my lighter first, because can I, y'all mind if I find my square first? I got y'all, though. Hold on. <laughs> Man. Coop was popping, man. Man, nigga got turned up like, like real nigga shit. Okay, um, my bad, bro. Check this out. Okay, the dash, popping. right? Check this out. If you go any, you can go to any graveyard site right now. And you go to the grave, and you're going to look at the tombstone. On the tombstone, it's going to have a, when you was born, it's going to have a dash, and then it's going to have the day you die. Y'all with me so far, right? Got you. Right. Hey, Star World 6877, Shalom Queen, I'll follow you when I finish. Check this out. You got that dash in the middle, right? That dash is everything in life, meaning that this, you was born. Then you, whatever you do in that dash is what people have the right to say about you at the end date. That tombstone, that dash is everything, bro. That dash is everything. That little dash in the middle of, of the tombstone is everything. That's that means that's the most important thing on the on the stone. Because when I say that, if you was a dope fiend your whole life, that means you was a dope fiend in that dash. When when you at the end of when you die, that is the right, that is what people have the right to say about you. You left nothing. You didn't build nothing. You left nothing. You left all. You left was 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 pain because you was smoking and you was taking from people and robbing people and, and, and begging for money and you left you left debt and all that. So when 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 I so when I get on the altar and I speak about you, this is what the right I have to speak about you, bro. I have the right to say these things. So everything you do is in this dash. Is what's important, bro. At the end, my nigga, that's what you did in that dash is what you're going to have to stand on when you meet God. That's what you're going to have to stand on. Whatever you did in that dash, that is what you're going to have to stand on. My, you have to stand on that. I got it in script. Only God can judge me. You feel me? Exactly. <laughs> and, he's, that, and basically, when you stand in front of him, you are facing judgment at that time. You are facing judgment at that time. And basically, what you're going to be judged on it's what you did in the dash. <laughs> That's what you're going to be judged on. What you did in the dash. That's everything. Jewish. You want, they want the Jewish shit? Give it to Okay, them. ask them. You, I'm going to let you ask them. Describe a Jew to me, bro. See, he might know the truth at the bottom. He might know. Describe a Jew. Describe what a Jew look like to me. To you. What does a Jew look like? I don't know. That's I don't know. You don't know? Okay, I'm gonna ask you, bro, bro. What's your name? Because I don't want to just I want to call you by your name, King. In the red hoodie. Coop. How you say it? Coop. 
Like cool. Yeah. Cool. Okay, check this out. I want to listen. What does a Jew look like, bro? I don't even know, man. I don't know. Oh. Okay, listen. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie okay. To all, you. All, okay. All we, all we've you. been, all it's, it's been portrayed to us as somebody Caucasian, white. That's how. There you that's, go. that's all we see. That's all we see. There you go. I'm glad you said that. There you go. Check this out. Right now, when you, this is what Nick Cannon got in trouble for. Right here, I'm finna explain to you, and I'm also gonna tell you why white people. This is explains why white people really can't stand you as a black man. What I'm finna explain to you, you never knew why, but this is why I'm finna give it to you, and it's gonna make sense. I'm finna show you. If I ask you, Coop, what color? If I say yo, yo jacket is reddish, what does that mean? That mean that is not red. It's red ish. It's not the same thing. Right or wrong. Mm -hmm. If I say that 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 what's that on your head? Uh, do rag. If I say that do rag is whitish, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that it's white. That means it's whitish. It's not the same thing, right or wrong. Mm -hmm. Right now, if I tell you that man is Jewish, that means he's not Jew. He's not the real thing. We just explained it with your with your do rag and your, and your hoodie. <laughs> We just explained it, bro. I just explained it's just that simple. It's really simple. If I say yo, if I say my shirt is blackish, that's not black. It's not the same thing. Got a point. Blackish. Wow. If I say that that shirt is greenish, it's not green, bro. So if I turn around and say the white man that we think is Jewish, if I say he's Jewish, that means he's not a real Jew, fool. He's not the real thing. You are a Jew. <laughs> You are a Jew. Everything that you see that the everything that you see the uh the Jewish people in America do is what you supposed to be doing. He took your whole culture. He took everything from us. Everything that they do is what you supposed to be doing, my nigga. That's what you supposed to be doing. You aren't supposed to celebrate Christmas, Thanksgiving, holidays. Those are pagan holidays, bro. You don't birthdays and shit. You don't supposed to do that. Jewish people don't celebrate that. They are doing what you're supposed to be doing. They not the real thing, bro. When Nick Cannon said that on his podcast, you see what happened, bro. Because he knows the truth. He knows the truth, bro. This is why they don't like you, bro. The Bible is a history book. It is written for the 12 tribes of Israel. That is you, my nigga. You, Hispanics, Guatemalans, Haitians. That's what the Bible was written for. It was not written for. It's a history book. Just like a book in class. It's not a religious book. Christianity, all that shit is fake, my nigga. Going to church on Sunday, that's all fake, my nigga. That's not, that's not, that's, that's white people shit, bro. The Bible is a history book. No different than a book you had read in school about your history. About your history. That's what that is. It's a, it's a regular book. It's not, it has nothing to do with religion, my nigga. That's fake. That is fake. You're going to learn. It's in the Bible. People like Martin Luther King, all them people sold us out, bro. There's no such thing. That, why do you think what happened? At, why do you think? You see what happened yesterday at the, at the Travis Scott shit? Y'all seen that? Mm -mm. Eight people yeah, died. Eight people died. They got trampled. You know why, bro? God, don't. If a man kill you, bro, he didn't kill you. God did, bro. He, he, he's the only one that can kill, bro. That's when you when you learn the truth. When you learn, you're gonna know that. I don't know people out there to see Travis Scott. If I would have said, if they, if 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 it, but none of them people would showed up for God, bro. God is jealous. He's a jealous God, bro. Hey. If I would have said, if if that would have been some out there teaching about the Bible, that many people wouldn't have came, dog. That many yeah. people wouldn't have came, my nigga. Oh. They would not. He is jealous. He made you. Why are you why are you saying fuck me and you just gonna go with them? Mm. No, no, bro. He wouldn't have came, he wouldn't have that's what it is at the end of the day. You are a Jew. English is not your language, Hebrew is your language. They beat your language out of you. That's why you speak English. <laughs> that's why you that's that the same people who gave you Christianity and told you to go to church on Sunday and Jesus is white gave you English language. If you ever seen the movie is out. They going one thing about about the game. You gonna always see the signs. You might not know what you're looking at. 
prime example. If you ever seen the movie, uh, what, 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 uh, Kunta Kinte, Roots. You ever seen anybody ever seen Roots? Yeah, I seen some of those shows. When you seen Roots, my nigga, and you seen King Kunta Kinte on there, they cut off his foot, bro, because he did not want to take on pagan a uh, pagan name. They were trying to get his, your name is Toby. Right now, the 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 the, the right now. The the the, uh, uh, the Muslims, that's why they go by X, bro. Your name is not, whatever your name is, cool. That's not your name, my nigga. That's some name that was given to you by your mama, who gave, who who her mama gave her her name, who slave master gave him their name. Yo, the name Cooper, your last name Cooper, that is a slave name. You can Google right now and find out who your slave father is, and you're going to see he going to have your last name, bro. I know who I know who my slave master is, bro, because I done looked it up and seen who was the owner of that. That's, that's why they take X, my nigga. That's not your name. You don't even realize when you come up with a nickname, you getting away from... A nickname is good because you getting away from the name that your oppressor gave you. Your oppressor gave you. That's why we come up... We don't even know when we come up with nicknames that we go, we doing that in the, in the, in the eyes of God. Mm. <laughs> that's, good, that's good in the eyes of God. He loves that because he don't want you to be called by your regular name. That's, that, that's the name that, you gave, that the white folks gave you. Your mama and great ancestor. He don't want you to go by that. Let me ask you something, bro. When you went to school and you wrote your name at the top of the worksheet, right? You had a name. It said the top of the worksheet. You went to school and wrote your name at the top of the worksheet, right? When you wrote your name, the first letter in your name was capital. Everything else was in lowercase. Do y'all remember that? Right now today, if you have to, let's say somebody came to say, I'm going to give you $5,000, sign your name on this document for me to release the money. When you sign your name on the document, you're going to sign your name, capital, whatever the first letter is. Who's on the ID? Who? Yeah, you, yeah. You was running about the ID? Yeah. Hey. Oh, okay. Check this capital out. Okay, so, so when you get off, when you get off, when you get off of uh, the live, look up what a straw man mean in America. Look that up, right? But I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you like the basics of it. I ain't gonna go into deep depth. I'm just gonna give you the, just the basics. So anybody got their ID or they license on them right now? Pull it out before I don't even show it on Instagram. Before you look at it, your <laughs> name is gonna be on all capital letters. Is it not? Yep. Yeah. Oh, right. We oh, now yeah. you just said. When you walk, when you went to school, you wrote your name <laughs> capital first and the rest in lowercase. You just said that. Yeah. You just yeah. said if I see if I gave you five thousand dollars and you had to sign the document to release the money, that's how you're gonna sign it. Capital, whatever your first letter is in your name. My name is Michael. It's gonna be capital M and the rest lowercase. Why is your ID name in all caps, bro? <laughs> Yeah, that's not you, my nigga. Yeah, because that's not you. That's some business that they don't put in your name. That is not you, bro. That is not you. You are not that person. That's you crazy, just bro. said it. Your name. Now, let me show you some mail. If you were when you at home, go check your mail. Go grab your mail out the mailbox. Any piece of mail with your name on it is gonna look just like your ID in all caps. He showed like you just it. said that that's is not who you are, bro. That's crazy. That ain't who you are. <laughs> That ain't who you are, my nigga. You not that person. The birth certificate, all that shit is fraud, bro. That's why they get you to sign the birth certificate. That's a, that's the way they can play. When you sign a birth certificate, my nigga, that means you giving over the right. Yo, your mic messed up. You can't, can't hear you. You can't hear you. When you, when you, when you, when, that's why when you sign the birth, can y'all hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why you don't supposed to sign the birth certificate. When you do that, you are give them, you are giving them authorization to put a whole business in your name that you know nothing about. Anything that's a business, you got a business, right? You do, you do, uh, you you record music, right, Malik? Right. If right. you got your business name together, if you go look at your uh 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 DBA or LLC. Your business name gonna be in all caps, fool. Right. Any name that's a business name incorporated LLC is all caps. That means oh, when you see a company in all caps, that that just stands for business. That just means we do business. Right. 
Your name is in all cap on your ID. Your name is in all cap on your on, on, on your mail. That is your business name, bro. That they got a whole business in your name you know nothing about. But when it's when you get that bill and you pay it, you are paying the bill for the businessman that's doing business in your name. That has nothing to do with you, bro. That's nothing. Look it up. You just the proof is right there. Dang. Look it up, bro. Somebody owe me some money then. That's on God. I, I'm gonna say this here. This why they that's why the people at the hospital, if you don't want to sign a birth certificate, they have a problem with that, bro. They have a problem with that. They have a problem with that, bro. Yeah. That's why when you when, that's why they, they could put you on child support. That's why when you don't sign this, uh, that's why when you don't sign a birth certificate, it's hard for them to put you on child support. They gotta go find you. They gotta go through a whole process. They gotta swab you. It's they gotta do all that shit to do that. Cause you ain't on the ticket. You that means you claim nothing. <laughs> for real. That's, that's crazy. And that's, that's crazy. Uh, don't look it up. It's documented. You right now. You're not even black. Yo, this not black. You're not even black. Black is a name a white man made up in 1770-something. Just like white. Black is a name that they made up in 1775 or some shit like that. That's not, a, that's not, you was Hebrew, fool. <laughs> that's not your, that's not your, you're not even black. You, you go, you go fill out an application and say African-American. I'm sorry, <clears throat> my hand down. You go fill out an application and say African-American. How can you be African-American, my nigga, when Amer African is Africa don't have nothing to do with the work with black at all. Mm. Africa used to be Ethiopia, my nigga, and it was something else before that. But Africa used to be Ethiopia. Let me take my hand out. Africa used to be Ethiopia, my nigga. White people came over there, the Romans, the Greeks, whoever the fuck, they came over there and took them people land. And I'm gonna show you how they do that in this day and time. This is way back then, but I'm gonna show you how they did that right now today. That, follow me. If you go back in the game in Africa, the real name of Africa, Africa, the name is a white man's name, bro. That is a white man name, Africa. His real name is Africanus. Leo Africanus. Look that up on Google. Everything I'm telling you is in, it, you can look it up or you can go to the Bible. His name is Leo Africanus, my nigga. Y'all follow me on Instagram. Y'all gonna see all the shit I post. His name is Leo Africanus. He came over there with his soldiers, killed all the Africans that was in, in, in Ethiopia, and said, uh, put planted his flag. Uh, this is my land now. We're going to call this Africa. He a whole white man. So how could you be African-American, my nigga? <laughs> that is a lie. That's a lie, bro. That is a lie. You're going to find out. It's every, once you find out the real truth, you're going to look at shit different. The Bible was only written for 12, for 12 races. Africans. I mean, not Africans. I'm sorry. Ooh, please don't take that. It wasn't even written for Africans. They sold niggas in slavery. Africans sold niggas in slavery. Right now today, you go work with an African, they really don't like niggas. They don't like niggas. They that is. You own it. You own it. That is. You own it. Jesus is Hebrew, fool. He's not white. He's not Hebrew. Hebrew is another name. What, what, what we think is black is really Hebrew. So he was Hebrew, bro. So when people, when people, when people, you see this picture right here, bro? Mm -hmm. This is that picture. When you see that picture, people, how that's Moses in the Red Sea. He is taking you out of captivity for, from Egypt. All these rappers right now, they when they say that they worship the devil, they worship the people from Egypt, bro. That's devil shit. They worship the people from Egypt, my G. They, and they talk, they drop breadcrumbs in a song. So only the people who who in the light, they're gonna be able to catch on to it. If you're not, you you just thinking it's rap and you just listening to it and singing it. You're not knowing what he's saying. They are they they are following certain customs, bro. When you was in when you was when you was in Egypt. Uh, when you was in uh, Syria, Babylon, or, 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 or Rome, when your birthday came, they killed your mama. Damn. That's why you don't supposed to celebrate your birthday. That's what you celebrate when you do that. 
they killed your mama when, and, and when you was in Rome and your birthday came, they they say they found you, they found your mama, your daughter, your side, they killed them on your birthday. That's why you don't supposed to do that. You don't supposed they know them dudes know the truth, bro. Them dudes know the truth and they and they just not saying nothing. It's like selling out. That's why when Nick Cannon says something, he got reprimanded. And that's gonna happen to every rapper. Any rapper, celebrity, if they come out and say what Nick Cannon did, that's exactly what's gonna happen to him. That's why they don't say nothing, bro. That's why they don't they know the truth. That's why they don't say nothing. Because they know they're gonna be reprimanded heavy. Now, they don't want you, they don't want you to know about God, right? And his laws. But it's all right for them to talk about uh homosexuality. As soon as the baby said what he said, he was reprimanded, bro. They want you, that's what they want you to pick up on. That's what they want you to learn. They don't want you to learn the laws of, of, of God. That's what they want you to do. Learn this. Learn things. Go to Thanksgiving. Learn that. Learn Christmas, Easter. Learn those. Not, not, it's, 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 you don't supposed to say, I don't say holiday, but it's, let's say holidays. It's holidays in the Bible that you supposed to celebrate that you don't even do. You don't even do Passover. Right now, it's Sabbath. You don't supposed to buy nothing right now. You can't buy nothing right now until, until it get dark, my nigga. You can't buy nothing right now. You can't sell nothing right now. And the only thing that you can eat right now is something that you cannot warm up. You can't warm up and shit in the microwave or go to the store right now. It's a, today is the Sabbath. How we look at Sunday is really today. Let's talk, let's talk the worldly way. How we look at Sunday and, and people in the world keep Sunday holy is today, bro. That is today is really the Sunday how they look at it. It's really Saturday, but Saturday is really how they look at Sunday. You're supposed to do that on Sunday. When you when they worship, when they gather in church, you're supposed to gather on Saturday, bro. Not on Sunday. It's in the Bible. You don't supposed to do that. Sunday is what the white man told you to do. Everything he told you to do is to get away from God. Celebrate birthday. That's to get away from God. He told you don't do that. Celebrate Christmas. That's to get away from God. He told you don't do that. Celebrate Easter. That's to get away from God. He told you don't do that. Everything, every law that's made in the land is to get away from him. You don't even know that it, you, you 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 don't even know nothing about the they don't even they don't even tell you nothing about the the preachers is not gonna tell you nothing about the firmament, bro. They're not gonna tell you about shit like that. You know what a firmament is, bro? Okay, I'm gonna show you. This world is under a bubble, bro. All that shit about flying to the moon and, and Mars and all that shit is fake, bro. They lying, bro. That's why all them, everybody that try to fly out there, they die, bro. You trying to go against God. You cannot do that. I'm going to show you how the world really look. You ever seen the movie? Because they're going to always put it on the movie. They dropping, when they put it in the movie, they just dropping breadcrumbs. You just got to know what you're looking at. If you ever seen the movie, uh, What's that movie that boy died? That the hero movie that made all that money. He made all that money. The boy just died from cancer. What was his name? Uh, Black Panther. Black Panther. Mm. You ever seen Black Panther? Have anybody ever seen that? Mm -hmm. Do you know oh, on Black Panther it was a bubble over over Wakanda, and Before when they flew over Wakanda, they couldn't see what it really looked like. Mm -hmm. What they telling you is right now when we look at Africa. When we look at Africa, we think Africa is 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 people over there and staying in tents and huts and walk around with no clothes. That's the only thing they show us. And they poor and they and you see their ribs and they belly. That's what they show you. That's what it was. When you that's that's just like Wakanda. That's what they thought it, that's what they thought Wakanda looked like until they went past the firmament. When they got past the firmament, they seen what Wakanda really looked it like. That's what the world is, bro. We are sitting under a bubble like they had it. They made it like that on purpose. We are sitting on, we are, they made the movie on, so you can see it. That was, they was giving you game. They made, this is what the world's sitting under. Imagine if you had a cake. This is exactly what the world looked like. That's why they made that. If you have a cake and you put a cake on this pan, on this thing, on this thing, it's going to have like a thing that hold the thing and the cake going to sit on the pan and then you're going to put the little glass top on top of the cake, right? Mm -hmm. So no roaches and all that shit can get in there. You're going to put that little glass bubble on top of the cake, right? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's what the world looked like exactly. That glass bubble is the permanent. Where the cake sit on, that's the land. And under the bottom, that, that, little, that little stem that hold the thing, the land up, is, is hell, bro. 
That's the world. They told you the world is round. That is a lie. There's no such thing as a globe, my nigga. The world is a plane. When you went to school, you went to. They told you about planes and plateaus. The world is a plane. It's not round, bro. That's a lie. You are under the firmament. You can't go past that burnt bubble. Like on one on one condo, they didn't go past the bubble. They 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 couldn't stand doing that. They only did that when they had to. You can't go past the bubble, bro. That that's look that up. Look up firmament right now. They're gonna show you the picture of exactly how I explained. You got the phone, my G, on the lip. Look it up. It's gonna show you what it looked like, bro. These is the real truth. The real truth. Yeah, bro. <laughs> that's just crazy. I ain't mean to just fuck, fuck y'all up like that this morning, bro. I like hey, talking to my kids. Man, fuck them up this morning, man. Fuck them up this morning. That's what they hey, need this. Bullshit. Yeah, bro. Martin Luther did. King, so you out, bro. King, you know what his gift was for selling you out? You know what the you know what the oppressor gave Martin Luther King for selling you out? They Ma gave him February. <laughs> That was the his show to sell y'all life. <laughs> now, let me ask you a question. Do you one. see a Martin Luther King? I mean, a Malcolm X month? Hell no. All right, then. Hell no. <laughs> All right, then. Malcolm X, they, they, they fucked over that bad bag to the back. All right, then. That's Malcolm crazy. X found out the truth. By the time he did, it was too late. All them dudes Farrakhan, all them dudes fake, my nigga. They can't help you. Nobody's coming to redeem you but God. That's the permanent, my nigga. That is what the world look like, bro. Comments. That is the firmament, my nigga. You see that bubble at the top? You cannot go past that. They trying to fly to the moon, and they talking about all that shit about Mars, Jupiter, solar system. That shit is fake, my nigga. On top of the firmament is water. That's why them people die. <laughs> <laughs> On top of the firmament is water. This whole world is surrounded by water, my nigga. That is water on top of that. They, that's why they died. That is the firmament. That is the picture of the firmament right there, bro. Ma Martin Luther King show y'all that. Let me show you something, right? Check this out. He saw y'all that. Let me show you something, right? Now, back in the gap, back in the gap, black people could not eat at white restaurants. I don't know if I told you this, Malik, already. You did. Okay, black people couldn't eat at white restaurants. Do anybody remember that? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we all remember that, right? Now, Martin Luther King come along and fight for what you call what we call civil rights, equality. First yeah. of all, we don't supposed to integrate. That's the word he used. I'm gonna use his words. You do not supposed to integrate with nobody that's outside of the twelve tribes. So that's a that's a lie right there off the muscle, but I'm gonna prove it to you. You don't so that's his thing. I have a dream that all of us can be equal. No, God told you you was king. It's no equal. They're not equal to us. Anybody that's not in their 12 tribes is beneath us. God hates white people, bro. It's in the Bible. If you look the look this up, you got the phone. The biblical name for white people is Esau in the Bible. God, the Bob, God gonna tell you he can't stand Esau. So check this out. I remember that. Remember and they, that. And they Edomites. Sure. They Edomites. They are Edom So when a white person call you a nigga, you call him an Edomite. That's what you call. That's ten times being called worse than a nigga, cause he know they know that the Bible is not written for them, and they all fried. Japanese. Africans, all them people fried. Arabs, where you go get your cigars from, shit like that. All them people fried, my nigga. All them people fried. They don't give a fuck about you. They just here for business. No people at the corner store where you go get your cigars, they just here for business. You walk in there and say, look here, my son, uh, you walk in one of them stores where you've been going for 20 years buying your cigars. You walk in there and say, hey, look here, my son got is in Little League football and we trying to raise money for jerseys and shit like that. Man, they ain't got nothing for you. But you've been spending your money up for 20 years. That same stuff been in your community for 20 years. Leeching off you. Leeching off you. It's not, it's not by coincidence that what we stay look like what we stay and what the white folks look, look like what they stay. That's not by co coincidence, my nigga. Let's go back to the Martin Luther King shit real quick. He's fighting for equal rights. I just told you we don't supposed to integrate with other nations. He's fighting for that, right? 
Now, we could not eat in the white folks' area. We could only eat in the black folks' area. We have to spend mm -hmm. our money with black people. Meaning, translation, we spending our money with our own people. Mm -hmm. That's what that that's what they represented. Martin Luther King come along and say we need to be together. Why would you fight for rights to go spend your money with the white folks? He sold us out, bro. He fought for rights. So now people not going to back then they had cafes, juke joints, big mama highs, uh 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 uh, uh, uh all kind of hole in the wall. That's what those represented. All those holes in the walls, they don't, you don't see them that much no more in the city. But Holes in the walls was mostly owned by black people. That's what that, we couldn't go to these establishments that we go to now back then. So we had to go to the hole in the wall. We had to go to the juke joint. We had to go to the cafe. We had to go to Big Mama House. That's where all the money was spent. Once, one, so he fought for rights for us to go eat at the white people's spot. spot. So now we're going to spend money with the white folks. We're not even we're not even spending money in our community no more. We spending money with the white folks, fool. So, and that trickle down, that mentality trickles down to right now today. We don't even spend money with our own people, my nigga. That mentality trickle down, it all started from civil rights. We don't even spend money with our own people, my nigga. Don't even go to our own schools. We don't go to our own. Our, them people, them teachers at the schools are scattering the flock, bro. They, they sold you out, too. The teachers at the schools <laughs> sold you out. In order to become a teacher, you have to go to school and get a certificate. <laughs> And this certificate is saying that you agree to teach the curriculum that we give you. Me, and that's why, that this is why it's no coincidence that all through school, all us on this phone right now, we all went to school from elementary all the way to 12th grade. When you had history, you ain't never have a white history teacher. It, for everyone, the whole while you've been in school, your history teacher has always been black. That's not by coincidence. Anybody? Have anybody on this phone ever had a history teacher in school outside of black? Anybody? What, after, what, Katrina, what, what? after Katrina, though, I was in Arkansas. After Katrina, Say it again? After what? Katrina, I was in Wynn, Arkansas. The white it man. Was a, it was a white dude. Now, now let me but ask you. If I was in New Orleans, it probably would be. Okay, okay. okay. Now, quick, now, quick question. Now, quick question. If a white man tried to teach you a black, black history, how does that sound? Retarded. Retarded. Indeed. It sounds retarded. That's why they don't like to do that. They're going to put the black man right there because it's believable. Now, the black man going to be there teaching you history or his story, because that's what history is, his story, not yours. That's if you break the word down. That's what it really is, right? They're going to put the black person right there. Remember, they're not teaching you stuff they learned. They're teaching you something from the curriculum that was given to the white people. The white people run the schools, the curriculum. Teach them this. Teach them Christopher Columbus discovered America. Teach them that. <laughs> well, well. Wow. Damn.